Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to world famous uh, Scouts Performance. DG. Yo. Mitty. Yo, yo. Hello. Hello. Frankie. Hey. Hi. We are at day two of the Cressida build. I bought a Cressida, everybody. Oh, no, I didn't really. <laughs> Damn it. I did try and buy it off the guy, but he said no. Advance? You're JDM. Advance. Advance. <laughs> very, very sick, man. Oh, look at the work. Scouts have been busy. Today is episode two of the Bad Boy BMW E30 project. We're going to be removing the 316 lump today. E30 is looking pretty. Not quite as pretty, obviously, as the Max Power Calibre. I shall be getting the keys for the 316 for the very last time, starting up the four pot motor, uh, driving her into the workshop, and then, yeah, bye bye four cylinder. DG, can you handle the green machine? Oh, try the best. <laughs> you got one of those? Which clearly doesn't work. <laughs> Watch them nails, man. I know. Oh my God, there we go. Battery just got flat again and it's got some sort of drain, which is what I assume has happened to be honest. <laughs> okay, one of those. Right, there we go. One hour later. That suits you, G. Oh, thank you. Is it my cut? One E30 key. Come on, baby. Oh, it doesn't want to go, man. It's like fruity. Poor engine. Well, we're going to find a better home for it, that's for sure. This is the dedicated bit of ramp space we're going to be using once we have pushed this wonderful Mark IV Super out of the way. And it's an uh, aero top. Yeah. Removable roof. If you've never seen one of those ones, oh, you have now. Are these lighter than a Sora J? Uh, yeah, I'd say a little so. bit. Yeah. yeah. I think half the weight in the Sora is the doors. Yeah. Okay, right, Mark Four is out of the way. Now we will get the uh, the real car in the workshop. It's basically a rotary, isn't it? <laughs> rat, 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 rat. is in situ. First thing Jay and I are going to do now we've got the car in the workshop is remove the bonnet. One bonnet removed. Car is now on the ramp. I'm just going to get it in the air and then see what we've got to do underneath with the gear shifter. Exhaust, pop car, gear linkage, do a lift, dump the oil. These jacking points are pretty here, pretty mashed yeah, up. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, the rest of the car isn't actually that bad for, what is it? What year is this car? g rig so I think that's 89 or 1990 thereabouts. Quick little look at the suspension setup, aftermarket of some sort, but yeah, pretty horrendous. It's also very, very low. Um, like I said in the previous video, we're gonna be getting a full Kony adjustable setup on the whole car, so front and back. Sick handling coming up. First protocol really is to remove the exhaust, um, get rid of the prop shaft. Take the gear linkage off and then drop the oil out of the sump. We just discovered this quite cool little, it's like a sort of engine mount damper. Yeah. Which is quite, is that, I'm, I'm guessing that's stock. As you can tell, we are slight E30 noobs, but we are learning as we go. So be kind in the comment section. Jay's gonna be doing some uh, polyurethane engine mounts for us from Strongflex. One thing to bear in mind with an old old beast like this is the nuts and bolts can be a bit rusty. Next up we're going to take this little exhaust bracket here which is just hanging off the bottom of the gearbox. A lot of this stuff we're going to be removing now we won't be reusing um, because obviously we'll be getting a nice new stainless steel exhaust system in place. Oh, she's a bit tight. We're gonna have to give that a little massage, I think. Yeah, just a gentle one, though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
these exhaust mounts are definitely German engineered. <laughs> Difficult to get off. There you go. That's nearly there, man. Rubber mounts removed. Uh, that one's pretty easy, self-explanatory. And then there's one more round here as well. I'm not sure if the exhaust is the same size as a 316, the centre section. Obviously the back box is different on a 316. It's only got a single pipe. Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below, do we need to change the exhaust for the 325 lump or can we retain some of this one? Magic has been performed. <laughs> that was a mission. There we go. It's quite a lengthy bugger. Oh god, that's had a. That, that's not a factory. Exhaust is now out of the way. Next up, we're just going to remove this uh, heat shield along here. One heat shield removed. Next up are these pretty chunky 70mm prop shaft box. It's quite hard to get the prop shaft out. We think that little spline in there is meant to be a slip joint. Very seasy. And this donut screwed, look. See? If you look at the uh, donut bush on the prop shaft, it's actually separated away from the casing. So, um, so yeah, we need to get a new one of those. Look around and I'll find a location for this. Um, Go. Jamie's just going to work on removing the shifter linkage. While he's doing that, I'm just going to drain the oil out of the sump. Chippy, chippy, bang, bang. God, it's like water. That is the dirtiest power steering oil I've ever seen. <laughs> Oil has been drained, shifter linkage is now removed, just removing the power steering lines to get rid of the power steering fluid. And then yeah, pretty much drop the car back down and start removing the engine ancillaries. We haven't got a huge amount of stuff to do in the engine bay because I did quite a bit of it last time, so. Relatively speaking, um, yeah, we should be pretty much good to go to, to get her out. We're not sure if this is the correct procedure for the engine room removal. Uh, we're trying our best. It's pretty tight. Yeah, you're probably supposed to pull the lid out of this plastic. Bit to These are all unplugged. So, nice one, okay. Right, one engine loom harness out of the way. Alternator is disconnected, all the wiring is disconnected, throttle cable has been disconnected. Um, pretty much apart from some of the heater matrix pipes at the back, I think we're pretty much good to take it. Yeah, that's it, two heat matrix pipes. <laughs> <laughs> two heat matrix pipes. That is today's episode pretty much wrapped up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed sort of seeing underneath the car and seeing a bit of the condition. We will be back down here tomorrow morning cracking on with the E30. Gonna get the engine out and start putting the 325 lump in. And I'm also gonna do a cheeky video on the RX-7 as well. Bye from Gigi. Bye. Bye from Jay. Bye, bro. Mr. Scouse. Bye.